Welcome everyone to my tutorial and um, uh, this, the tutorial today is all about text and a path or a shape. So basically uh, what we're going to do is we're going to recreate this. Uh, you might have projects wherein you put your text around a shape. Uh, you would also tech, put your text around a path. And you might also have a project wherein you want to wrap around the text, you know, wrap around um, in a in a path like this. Okay, and you also might have projects with typography, uh, like text, which is customized like this one. So we're gonna learn about that, and we're also going to learn about uh, creating an envelope so that the shape will follow the envelope or the shape here. And we're also going to learn about this custom envelope here. Okay, so, so let's start with the uh, text around the path. So text around the path, basically you have to have your text. Obviously this is a text and you also have, should, should have a circle. So the um, the uh, the command here or the tool is fit text to path so for example here i'm going to put this i'm going to separate this first i go to objects and break artistic text apart so let's start with this one here so you click on the text and then you go to uh, text and then uh, uh, fit text to path and the path is the circle so you click on the circle but while clicking on it like finalizing it you can move around and then move this up and down okay say for example i want to i want to have like a spacing like that and then once you're turning it around you're going to see a a red line so you see that red line it means to say that's in the center of the circle so you click that and that's it right so now very simple and then later on you can just remove the the circle so the next one is this one this is a bit complicated but but uh, uh, but it's not that difficult so you click the text and then go to text and then fit text to path and it's the same path which is this one here and then what you do is you wait for the red and then you move it the same spacing as the first one right so once you have the red you click there and that's it right but if you look at our our, um, our original one the text is red from left to right right so we are going to fix that by going to this icon here this is mirror text horizontally and then mirror text vertically okay so now you notice it's the right um, uh, the uh, right orientation now, but the spacing is wrong. So you just drag this and then wait for the uh, red uh, line. And then there you go. Now if you notice this one, the spacing is different. You can still control the spacing by this one here. You can click on the uh, down arrow to to uh, you know adjust the spacing and then after that what you can do you can just like remove the outline by right mouse click on this one here and that's it and you can put a photograph here or you can use a logo so with this one this one is also easy so you create a path from here to here Okay, I'm just going to curve that path um, here like this and then uh, okay so for example this is the path okay so that's also easy you click on the text and then go to text and you go to uh, fit text to path and the path is this one here right it's very easy and also Right mouse click on the um, outline tool to remove the outline. 
So now let's go to this one here. So, so looking, uh, analyzing this one. So we, we're going to create a shape here. And then we are going to paste this into the shape. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a shape. So first I'm going to create a rectangle or a square, say somewhere, something like that, right? And then I'm going to um, change this to a curve so that I can edit the shape of the square. So you click an object and then click on convert to curves, right? So when you click on convert to curves, then you can go to your shape tool and we're going to add a shape here. Sorry, we're going to add a node. So you click this, double click, and then click one more, uh, click one more time here. And then you can um, shape it. Double click to add a curve. Double click. Uh, double click. And then I'm going to move this over here. Okay, and then double click. Uh, double click. Double click. And click on there. And then let's go another one, another another node here and let's just say like that now now you can of course make that uh, more smooth but uh, that's not necessary so now I've got the path ready so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the text tool and then you go to the uh, go near this edge okay and then once you see the the um the what do you call this the the edge like that you click on that sorry about that one sec let's do that again so you click on the uh, text tool and then we are going to uh one sec here let's do that again there so you click on the edge and then you can see this so basically this is a paragraph path okay and then what we do is we're going to I'm gonna copy this text first so control C to copy and then I go here and I know I have a path there I mean a, a paragraph a box and then text box and then I could just control V to paste okay so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make that white okay and then I'm just going to paste another one another paragraph and then make this white like that okay so that's pretty simple and then you um, remove the outline so right mouse click on this this icon here all right, so we have that. Now let's go to this one here. So this one, um, I'm gonna gray this out first. So I'm or gray it out and then lock it. So I go to my transparency tool and then click on uniform transparency, and then uh, I'm gonna make it more transparent. And then I'm gonna lock it so that it won't move. Okay. So right mouse click and then I'll lock the object. Okay, so now this one is the text that we're going to use. So I'm going to size it to, to that. I mean, it's not going to be exactly the same, but, but it's fine. And then I'm just going to hit enter there for the O, and then hit enter for the GRA, and then PHY. Okay, so with this one, uh, you can change the spacing of of the I mean of the lines by going to the shape tool and then click on this click and drag it okay so say I'm happy with that I'm just going to separate this so I'm gonna go to object 
and then break artistic text apart. So once I break it apart, so now I can move this. I'll move it there, move this to the right position, and this one too, okay? So now this one, what I can do here is I can uh, create uh, or convert this to curve so that I can edit the letter T. So I go to objects and then convert to curves. And then I go to my shape tool. So I'm just going to highlight these two nodes and then drag it to the right. Okay. Because that's not a text anymore. This is an object. So same, same thing with the H. I go to convert to curves first. And I go to my shape tool and select these two nodes and then bring it down. There. Okay. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to so another uh, trick too is that if you want this to be the same as this font you go to click on this and then you go to edit copy properties from I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna copy just the text property okay and I click OK and then I select this one and it becomes the same font and then I can just shrink that apart I'm gonna shrink that and and that's it. And then I can just like um, unlock this and then delete this. Okay. So now this one for this. Um, so you click on shapes, the text shapes, and then you you already have a circle. So you go to effects and then envelope. So when you click on envelope, you're going to see a dialog box here. And this is the button that you have to click on. So create envelope from. So when you click on that, CorelDRAW will ask you, okay, which shape? So you're going to click on the circle. Okay, uh, you have to click on the edge itself. There. Okay. So now we'll just change the orientation. We're going to uh, rotate it a bit. So click one more time and if you see this it means to say you can uh, you can rotate it that's it and then you can delete this all right so now the next one I think this is the last one is the uh, fresh hundred percent eggs so we are so we have a vector image okay I'm just gonna move that here so what I did basically is create a shape that uh, this is the shape that that I created just to fit in the chicken, right? And then you basically you just have to I'm gonna break this apart. So you're gonna envelope again, same thing. So fresh, uh, click on this for create envelope from, and this is the envelope. And then I can just move that and then put this here and then same thing with the egg eggs so click on envelope create envelope envelope from this is the shape and then I don't need this anymore and then move the word eggs there and for the 100% I'm just gonna create a shape because I forgot to create that so go to your Bezier tool and just, you know, just, just roughly, you know, create that kind of shape. And then I'm going to go to shape tool and then click on this and I'm going to uh, convert to curve so that I can shape it. Okay. And this one too, I'm going to bring it inside so like that and yeah so click on the text go to create envelope from and this is my envelope and we're done okay uh the good thing here is that you can still uh, even though i create an envelope i can still edit the envelope so if you click on my shape tool 
I've got these four nodes so I can click on a node and then just reshape it say for example here I want to move it going up or say I decided I don't want it to go in I'm gonna I want to make it going out like that and that's it and that's uh, basically <laughs> how we play with the uh, shapes so I hope you like my tutorial it's a simple one but I think you're gonna have in you know in your projects you know play around with the text or paragraph text and uh, this tutorial will be useful for that so thank you for watching again if just a reminder if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe if you don't want to subscribe but you just want to watch my videos that's fine um, just you know click on the like button or um, put a comment that would be great and uh, I stream daily and once again thank you for watching bye for now <laughs>